Shooting suppressed makes for a lot of fun without putting too much stress on your ears. However, besides the shot, it's also the bullet that makes the sound if it breaks the sound barrier. To avoid that, you need to shoot subsonic ammunition. There are loads with rather heavy bullets that fly slow but punch hard thanks to their weight. To choose the best caliber for silencers must thereby include not only the common rounds of a certain cartridge, but especially their subsonic versions. This means also for choosing the best caliber, you need to keep in mind the availability of these versions in general and in your area. Then there's a factor of available hosts that can take the suppressor to make silent or almost silent shooting possible in the first place. Based on this, we have our criteria for choosing the best caliber, that is, subsonic versions of it, the availability and cost of these versions, and the variety of hosts that are available. Number 6, 45 ACP. 45 ACP, while being rather big and thereby louder than other calibers, is a great choice as its bullets are traditionally subsonic. On the flip side, these bigger bullets come with more bulk and weight, making it harder to carry them around when you go for a hike. Also, they do not cost more than other cartridges. However, they are widely available, and they have proven themselves as being effective time and again. Besides 1911-style handguns, there are some newer platforms available, giving you quite some choice. That includes carbines and survival rifles. Number 5, 9mm. 9mm is a handgun caliber that is most widely available all over the world, making it one of the best choices. You might think that there are better handgun calibers, but when it comes to getting the ammo to shoot silence, it's hard to beat this round. Also, do not forget that modern ammunition has pushed the terminal ballistics to new levels so that this little round can achieve the same as its bigger brothers and sisters. Speaking of shooting with silencers, there are obvious varieties of this caliber which should be considered first, and these are all with a bullet weight of 147 grains. They are subsonic and reach a sound level similar to smaller rimfires. Of course, you need the right pistol for this one too that does not come with an ultra-long barrel. Being so easily available everywhere brings also economics of scale to the table, allowing for some decently priced ammunition. The range includes everything from cheap to fancy and expensive. Of course, you have one added option in the form of reloading them yourself, making shooting even more affordable. As if this all is not already convincing enough, 9mm has even more going for it. With it, you're not limited to just handguns. There are bigger platforms available. With a PDW, survival rifle, or 9mm carbine, you can reach further out, have it easier to hit, and you can stay subsonic with the right ammo. Overall, this little round gives you a ton of options when it comes to the caliber itself as well as when it comes to the platforms. That's just hard to beat. Number 4, 22 Long Rifle. 22 Long Rifle is an obvious choice. This cartridge is small to begin with, making it not very loud, and its rounds are in most pistol barrels subsonic. If you use a rifle as a host, you have to look for ammunition that is marked as subsonic. As with these barrel lengths, you get your standard rounds to supersonic velocities. Alternatively, you can check for the performance data for your barrel length. In that case, it should be below 1,040 feet per second. Another plus is that the ammo itself is very cheap. Getting 1,000 rounds does not break your bank. Also, the rimfire cartridge is light. If you pack a 1,000 rounds for a hike into the mountains, you'll not have much weight to contend with. With all these upsides, a downside cannot be far away. And the fact its very size makes for it. While it is small, not loud anyway, and light, it's also rather weak. It's not a good decision to depend on it with your life. Also, if you hunt anything other than small game, it is outside its league. The only thing it has to counter that is low or, in fact, no recoil, allowing for good shot placement. That might help against two-legged predators moving slow and in the open, but... It does not help much against a charging bear. Number 3, 38 Special and 357 Magnum. Mm, stop. Wait a second. Before you start typing your comments, <laughs> yes. 38 Special and 357 Magnum are both revolver cartridges, and revolvers are close to impossible to suppress thanks to the cylindrical gap letting out the bang as well as gases. Well, this is all true. Both rounds can be shot from other platforms as well, which come without said cylinder gap. So forget the revolvers. Take a look at lever action rifles and bolt action rifles. Both make for great hosts for suppressors. As 38 specials are subsonic, they're also widely available without breaking your bank and come in many different loads. So you have a lot to choose from. That is as straightforward as it can get. Being revolver cartridges, it's no problem to reload both of them as you do not have to fit within the specs of your action. You yourself run the action in your lever or bolt action rifle. That leaves us with the question of how it's possible to class the 357 Magnum as subsonic. 
Well, the answer is easy. Get loads with heavy bullets or reload them yourself with some nice hard cast bullets. Go for something in the range of 200 grains or more, and you have a nice and quiet little rifle doing a lot of damage downrange. It'll be hard to wipe the smile out of your face while shooting it. Number 2. 300 Blackout 300 Blackout is a great choice to shoot compressed. It comes with a wide selection of subsonic ammunition that are not too expensive. Even better is that it's a perfect drop replacement for 5.56 in an AR-15. You need a different barrel, but that's pretty much all you have to change. Great hosts are rifles with shorter barrels. There are some with barrel lengths of 5.5 inches and also 7 to 11 inches. The longer ones allow all the powder to burn while the projectile is still in the barrel. That gets you a strong and all at the same time small package. With it, you can shoot bullets with 220 grains at subsonic speed. They have excellent ballistic coefficients, making for a good trajectory. There are also other options available which allow for longer ranges, albeit at the cost of being less quiet. Number 1, 223 and 556. Five, Cartridges in 223 and 556 five, are on the list first and foremost because they are as easy to find as an AR 15 to shoot them and a suppressor to get the gun silent. However, don't kid yourself. These rounds are supersonic. That means it's impossible to get them quiet, but you can reduce the sound level by a great margin. Also, if your goal is to shoot without giving away your position, that is your way as well. While the rounds give away the fact that someone has fired them, it's impossible to hear them what direction the shot itself came. The added benefit for you is that you don't have to double up on your ear protection. Also, you do not enrage others as much. Apart from that, a silencer adds a little bit of performance to your round, so take this as another plus. Being so easy to find, you'll not pay through your nose to stock up on your ammo supply. Same holds true for guns. Of course, you can go for a super fancy one that will cost you an arm and a leg, but you can also go the budget route and keep the cost in the range of a few hundred instead of thousands of dollars. As a lot of these guns come with a short barrel, and shorter barrels add a lot to the overall sound while firing, it makes a lot of sense to suppress, especially those. Again, you will not get the round silent by getting rid of the sound on the gun itself. It does help a lot. There you have it. These calibers will allow you to easily shoot suppressed and to be much less friendly to your environment, family, friends, and bystanders. Also, you'll save your own hearing from a lot of stress during your training or planking.